uh, when we talk about uh, the indoor plants indoor plants which are beneficial for uh, all human beings and of course it gives a great look to our house also and today uh, as we can see um, it became uh, like uh, trendy to keep uh, indoor plants in our home so that it gives a good uh, glow look to our house also and as well as it gives us great benefits which are good for our health and to keep us fit also so once again hi this is Prashun Day and I welcome you all to my youtube channel Botanica in uh, today's video uh, I'm go not going to discuss about any sort of uh, reporting today like earlier I'm going to talk about one another indoor plant but it's not a plant it's, it's, it's a plant but it's belong to a succulent family and the plants look like a lotus so it's a very uh, beautiful plant and uh, I'm going to discuss about uh, this plant and this is the plant you can see this is the succulent plant and this plant name is Ichiveria Ichiveria uh, and it's a very beautiful uh, you can see it's like a lotus shaped uh, flower and I'm going to discuss everything about this plant its benefits its maintenance as well as um, how what are the time period what are the uh, watering is required for this plant everything but uh, before proceeding uh, to the plant what to do how to do uh, if you're new to this channel or just now you're watching this video uh, do subscribe to this channel uh, because there are lots of videos coming regarding uh, every sort of plants and um, as well as uh, reporting or fertilizer all sort of things are going to be discussed over here so stay tuned and don't skip because uh, there are lots of updates coming so stay tuned and watch the complete video well uh, when we talk about this Ichiveria this Ichiveria plant uh, is a native to Mexico and uh, Central America uh, if we see there are lots of species of Ichiveria are there but uh, generally if we talk about uh, Ichiveria they uh, generally have thick green fleshy leaves which you can see these thick fleshy leaves so uh, when we talk about the benefit of it uh, like uh, what sort of benefit can Ichiveria plant gives to us? Well, it it's, it's definitely gives us. It aids uh, in quick recovery. Uh, like if we can see, uh, like succulents uh, can contribute to reducing of flu-like symptoms. Uh, it helps in reducing headaches, fever, and coughs. So uh, succulents, basically, uh, there are lots of succulents are there, but Ichiveria especially has these all sort of. Um, benefits uh, but while keeping in home it can help like flu like symptoms or fever or headache or cough symptoms it can help in reducing these things like uh, there are if we check on google also regarding Echeveria what are the things they have been saying that uh, in Kenya State University in uh, they they keep succulent plants in the hospitals because uh, it helps in uh, pain medications like it has in lower blood pressure heart rate and experience uh, less fatigue and anxiety so uh, if we if they keep if we keep uh, succulents in a home so it gives us lots of benefits like uh, as i mentioned uh, it helps in reducing the uh, flu like symptoms or headaches or fever and cough as well as it helps in lower blood pressure and heart rate and less fatigue and anxiety so it, it definitely is, is a very good plant to keep in home indoor uh, for our human benefits to boost our life healthier uh, again when we talk about this plant maintenance part well you can see this plant as it belongs to I say to Mexico and Central America so this plant maintenance is very less and very cheap like it doesn't require such kind of maintenance first of all if we talk about the soil yes the soil is the most important part of for this plant the soil should be well drained soil uh, what are the mixture there should be cocoa peat in it there should be proper uh, cow dung and sand soil should be there these three mixture of soil is very good for this plant but uh, there should be cocoa peat in it lots of cocoa peat in it if you take the uh, percentage the 80% of the soil should be cocoa peat uh, secondly uh, 
if you talk about the watering part when you will see that you can see this uh, if you can see this plant right now the soil is completely dry from the top from the top you can see so at this time you should water but not to water fully uh, you have to sprinkle few drops of water on the soil that's enough for it because if we give loss of water to this plant it may damage the soil and uh, damage the plant root and it may kill the plant so you have to give a uh, few drops of sprinkle water on the soil you can see this soil is dry so today i am going to sprinkle water on it so you have to water and that's enough for it and uh, if we can uh, as i have mentioned earlier also this plant belongs to indoor plant it's not outdoor so indirect sunlight is okay for it uh, no uh, like there's no such, such kind of direct sunlight is required for this plant it may kill the plant uh, the the leaves the fleshy leaves which you can see it may burn out for that uh, direct sunlight so it loves uh, indirect sunlight so and it will grow healthier and more beautiful as you can see uh, when i bought it was a little bit smaller but now it's growing day by day and another thing in the winter uh, this plant drops leaves like you can see in the below this leaf uh, you can see uh, these leaves lose loses their uh, and they die but it happens only in the winter in the below below part of the leaves you can see this below leaf this has been rotten so it's nothing it's not a very big issue it happens only in the winter but in the summer as the summer is coming you can you will be able to see that this plant will grow more good you can see this this this, this one And if we talk about the fertilizer part, uh, this plant doesn't require, as I said, cocoa peat is enough for it. And fertilizer, you can give a few, uh, it's a handful of cow dung, uh, you can mix it and you can sprinkle a little bit on the cider part of the soil. So it will be enough for it. Just you have to keep in mind that the first of all, the pot which you are using should be well drained pot. The soil should be well drained soil and the plant will grow healthier and beautiful. As you can see, this plant is uh, is look beautiful in here. And in winter, the below leaves will be in drop out. You can see, it always in winter it may die. So you can see my lower leaves are drying. So these are the things. These are the benefits, and these are the maintenance that you need to keep in mind to uh, keep. Uh, uh, to if you buy a uh, succulent achieve a succulent in your home and you keep it so i believe the information that i provide to you regarding uh, this plant uh, achieve a plant succulent uh, was good for you if you like the video give a thumbs up and do subscribe because there are lots of more upcoming uh, regarding this plants uh, fertilizers and indoor outdoor vegetables everything are coming very soon so stay tuned and see ya